Hello to Vinci, welcome back. This is Wednesday the 10th of February's um, SPAG lesson. So we're looking at, can I recognize and use adverbs? Now you will have heard this word before because we've looked at it in English, but we're gonna be looking at them even more in today's lesson. You're gonna need your paper, pencil, or your whiteboard and whiteboard pen, whichever one you're going to be using. So, talk to you Teddy, what is a verb? Can you find the verbs in the sentence? The alien ran. Bob walked to the rocket. What are the verbs? Talk to you, Teddy, what's a verb? Try and think of what you think a verb might be. It's not an adverb, a verb. So a verb, we know, is an action, a doing word, something that you can do. So let's find them in these sentences. The alien ran. The alien ran. Can you do the action of the or alien? So the only answer that can be in this is ran, because ran is the past tense of run, and I can do running. That's an action. That's a verb. Bob walked to the rocket. Bob walked to the rocket. Which one of them do you think is going to be our verb? Well, rocket, I can see, I can touch. That's a noun. Bob is a person. I can see them. Therefore, that's a noun. Walked is the past tense of walk. I can walk. That's our verb. That's our doing word. So today, these sentences are a little boring. So you think about them. The alien ran. Sorry, I nearly fell asleep. Bob walked to the rocket. Oh, nearly fell asleep again. So boring. Not interested in listening to that. That's something that I'd expect lower down school, not in year two. So these sentences are boring and we need to add some adverbs to make them more exciting. So adverbs tell us how something is done. We can add these adverbs to the end of this sentence. Which adverb wouldn't make sense? So in these different colors here, I've added my L-Y words. L-Y, those are usually adverbs. And an adverb is telling me how it's done. So the alien ran and I can add end of this sentence an adverb the alien ran angrily the alien ran silently the alien ran rudely I mean, bumping into lots of people the alien ran wearily which means he was really tired he couldn't really run very far the alien ran quickly really quick so you can see all these words work the alien ran strongly strongly can you run strongly i don't know what that would be and that's because you can't you can't run strongly it doesn't make sense so this would be the only adverb that wouldn't work in this sentence so we give that a cross out all the rest of these would work and i've just shown you in the sentence what they'd all mean but some ly words like strongly sometimes they won't work with the verb that you're using so strongly and ran are not two words that really mix together but quickly and ran, well, they do. Quickly and to run, they do mix. Let's go on. Which adverb wouldn't, wouldn't make sense in this sentence? Bob walked to the rocket. Bob walked to the rocket. We've got magically, angrily, silently, wearily, crazily carefully which one wouldn't make sense have you figured it out well bob walked to the rocket how did he walk he walked angrily that makes sense he walked wearily remember really tired just wants to get home that makes sense bob walked crazily to the rocket that makes sense maybe he was wacky and crazy Bob walked silently. Oh, you couldn't hear him. He was so silent and sneaky. That works. Bob walked carefully. He didn't want to knock anything over. That one works. Bob walked magically to the rocket. Can you walk magically? Does that make sense? Bob walked magically. It doesn't make sense. So that one is the one that does not work with our sentence. So we won't be using magically with that sentence. 
It might work with another sentence, but with our sentence, it does not work. Right, let's have a look now and see whether we can sort these into verbs and adverbs. So remember, our adverbs are usually words that end, I'll give you a clue, in an L-Y. And your verbs might not end in an L-Y. I have to see if that works for all of them. So, walked, do you think that is a verb or an adverb? Walked, verb or an adverb? Well, it is a, should we try? It's a, please move. It's a verb, quickly. Adverb, it's an adverb, sneakily. It's a adverb, crawled. Crawled is a verb. Swam. If you swam, you went swimming. It's a verb because it's something you can do. It's an action. Kindly. Can you do kindly? Or are you doing an action kindly? You're doing something kindly, which is how you do it. It's an adverb. Bravely. Ends in an L-Y. Adverb. Wildly. L-Y, adverb, jumped, doesn't end in L-Y. Can I jump? Yeah. Verb, ran, we ran somewhere. Verb, well done, verb, on your head. Happily, you are happily jogging. Adverb, skipped, you skipped somewhere. Like this. It's a verb, verb on your head. Which word is the adverb in the sentence below? Bob looked carefully to see if there were aliens on the moon. Bob looked carefully to see if there were aliens on the moon. Which one's the adverb? Ends in an L-Y. Carefully. Another way that we could spot it is not only because it ends in an L-Y, but it's after our verb of looked. So he looked carefully. Now, there are sometimes you can actually swap these to be a different place in your sentence. You could have Bob carefully looked to see if there were aliens on the moon or Bob looked carefully. They swap around. It's a bit like commutative in maths where you can swap those words over or the numbers over for for a plus um, sum and it works. Well, it's a bit like that. You've got Bob looked carefully or Bob carefully looked. They both work. It's whatever works for you. Which word is the adverb in the sentence below? The dog barked loudly when Bob played with him. Which one is it? Well, our verb is barked. That's our verb. So what is our adverb? How did the dog bark? He barked loudly. Spot on. He barked loudly. Again, you've got that L-Y to help us spot it. The dog loudly barked or the dog barked loudly. They can swap over again. You see that? Let's have a look at another one here. We've got one more example to this. The adverb could go in the sentence below. Which one? The tourists whispered something to each other while Bob was talking. The tourists whispered. How did they whisper to each other while Bob was talking? Why don't you have a think about that? Have a think. So you've had your time to talk now. What adverb could go in? Well, the tourists whispered. How did they whisper? Well, maybe they whispered. Let's have a look. Quiet. Quietly. Maybe they whispered quietly. That could be something that you could have written. You could have said, the tourists whispered silently, maybe. Can you whisper silently? Mm. I don't think so, actually, because if you were silent, 
then you wouldn't be able to hear each other whispering. So that wouldn't make sense. So quietly is definitely one that would make the most sense. Do you reckon loudly, the word loudly would make sense in this sentence? The tourists whispered loudly to each other while Bob was talking. Hmm. I'm not sure because loudly means you're speaking loud. Whispered means you should be speaking quietly. So those don't really work with each other. So maybe not, maybe not. So I think it's just thinking about whether the sentence makes sense, okay? But quietly is definitely one that would fit in that space. The tourists whispered quietly to each other. But it's also one where we could have the tourists whispered quietly to each other while Bob was talking, or the tourists quietly whispered to each other while Bob was talking. They can swap around again, just like I said before. Right, last example. What adverb could go in this sentence below? Bob slept something after his long day at work. How did he sleep? Remember, we're looking for words that will end in L-Y because that's going to help us remember what an adverb is. So, Bob slept. He slept. You could have quietly again. Bob slept quietly. You could have peaceful. Let's try and join that up. He slept peacefully. Bob slept peacefully after his long day. He slept, you could have silently, silently. He slept silently. Oh, my handwriting is getting worse, Mr. Ockers. I think it's because my hands are cold. School is a little cold today. So he slept silently after his long day of work. He slept peacefully after his long day of work. Bob silently slept after his long day of work. Bob slept silently. Again, you can swap them over because it does not matter where the adverb goes as long as when you read the sentence, it still makes the same sense, okay? So let's have a look at some what your task is today. So your turn. I want you to find, find the adverbs in the sentences below. So all I'm asking you to do is look at the sentences and find the adverbs. I gave you a big clue on the last slide, and I said that most adverbs end in an L-Y. So you're looking for a word that might end in an L-Y. That is a big clue. Number one, the aliens sneakily took the cakes from the picnic. So you can see here, that's what the aliens doing, is sneakily taking those cakes from the picnic. Bob eagerly met his friends for lunch. So here we are, we've got Bob eagerly meeting his friends for lunch. Eagerly means he's really excited to meet his friends. Number three, at the end of the day, Bob carefully turned on the moon's nightlight. And you can see here he's turning on the moon's nightlight. That's just a bit of a joke because the moon's light comes from the sun. But in the story, it's as if it's a, it's a night light and he's turning it on. So at the end of the day, Bob carefully turned on the moon's nightlight. What is the adverb there? You need to spot those adverbs. Your next turn is to write an adverb that could go in each of the sentences. Write an adverb that can go in each of these sentences. So a different adverb in each one is fine. It may need, this is an important sentence, it needs to make sense. You cannot do a random sentence adding in an adverb that does not make sense. Remember how we spoke at the beginning when Bob couldn't run strongly. You can't run strongly. You can't walk magically because it doesn't make sense. It's the same for these, these ones here. Let's make it make sense. The rocket flew hmm, back to Earth. How did the rocket fly back to Earth? The aliens waved as Bob left the moon. How did the aliens wave? Bob hmm, played with his dog on the moon. How did Bob play with his dog? That's everything for today, Da Vinci. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. I'll see you later.